welcome back recruits. I'm Chris Nance with the Northern California Ghostbusters and today we're doing an unboxing and review of the new heavy duty pistol belts from Tools and Talent Props. Let's get going. I'm using a Vietnam era uh, belt instead of the uh, World War II era. And the reason why is because it is much heavier and like you can kind of tell when you see me moving around wearing it, like it, it moves with me. It doesn't really like slip and fall on me. It holds all of the weight of everything that I need it to hold. And the big problem that you'll see a lot of people having just walking around is their belt is sagging all over on them and not moving with them. I actually have had a replica GI belt uh, tear itself apart at the rivets under the weight of this trap. And that's because it's a Ben of Kent trap. But that said, it's, it's heavy. And it has ripped those GI belts apart on me after a full day of walking around at a convention with that on my belt. Not to mention the goggles and the wand and the PKE meter. Like, it all really adds up to a lot of stuff hanging off your waist. Ooh, I see swag in there. He gave us patches and stickers. Patches? Yeah. Why am I low key more excited about the patches? You sent us two too. Yeah. I, the greatest thing about it was you sent us two of everything because there are two of us. Yes, yes, that, love that detail. That is very considerate of him. Oh my God, ooh, ooh. Man, I love these new, I love these designs that he's got for this, for this Ecto Ordnance core thing that he's doing. We'll have to divvy those up later between us. I think these are probably closer in terms of screen accuracy to what we've seen on uh, Afterlife and Frozen Empire. It's just, just based on what I, I, you know, you can tell from, you know, screenshots and stuff. It's got like these flat grommets, presumably to make it a little bit more comfortable or that's just the design of the style he went with. So this is all basically the way that this is assembled, except for the material that it's made from and the, the length of it, the way that it's put together is like totally accurate to like Ghostbusters 1, you know, Frozen Empire, Afterlife. That said, in, Frozen, in Afterlife and Frozen Empire, I'm fairly sure that production made their own utility belts for the guys, probably more or less the same way. I'm sure we've all noticed that Dan, Uncle Dan has put on a few pounds and the classic utility belts are not super friendly to the larger wasted buster. That is one of the details in his description here. This versatile belt is fully adjustable to accommodate a range of waist sizes from 30 inches to 65 inches. Whew. So I, being as skinny as I am, might actually have a little bit of pro uh, trouble with that because I usually hover between like a 28, 30 waist. All right, so because this is a Ghostbusters 1 belt, I'm gonna need my Ghostbusters 1 uniform. All right, so now that we're in the appropriate uniform, we've got a few things to throw on this belt. One thing that I already can tell I'm gonna be a fan of here is it's actually, it's just gonna be easier to get stuff on here. There we go. PKE meter in the holster. Your thrower, this is already, I can you know, tell just kind of standing here like, you know, yeah, it's kind of pulling right here where the thrower's at, but it's, it's, it's holding perfectly fine here. Right now as is, this is pretty comfortable. I like this setup. This is nice and lightweight and easy to move with, even throwing the, having the thrower hanging on there. Like now we're gonna start stepping it up. There is a lot of stuff on this belt. Hold on, let's, so let's uh, add one last. And yeah, that's, that is surprisingly not, I don't, I don't feel it trying to fold over anywhere. I don't see it folding over either. I don't feel it pulling down on any one part here. Me. Wow. I think I have almost as much weight on my belt right now as I do on the pack. Like, like my belt weighs as much as my pack about right now. 
price point on these is $55. For $55, I think it's a little bit expensive for a belt. That said, if you are, like I've mentioned a few times already, if you're a bigger buster, these are a really, really good option because just because of how big they are. If you are somebody who wants to have a whole lot of stuff on their belt all the time, I think this is a really good option for you as well. So I really like the design and the actual like replica nature of it is pretty well done. You know, except for the material being thicker, like it's pretty, pretty dang close to what they had in the very first movie. I'll bet it's probably like very close to what they had in the more recent movies, you know, which were probably made by the, the costuming department. It is a handmade item. So that is probably a lot of what, you know, that $55 is about and it's well made. A huge thank you and shout out to Dan at Tools and Talents Prop for sending us a couple of these. That's been kind of fun to review this and just like take the excuse. I have, I have pieces of belt here that I don't get to wear all the time because like I have like different setups that I go with. And so like throwing all of it on at once onto one belt is, is a fun novelty. We will have a link to the Tools and Talent Props Etsy page in the description below. And if you have some kind of Ghostbusters prop part mod, uh, costume parts, anything that you want us to review and take a look at, feel free to reach out to either Greg or I. Thank you so much for watching.